Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I just wanted to give my impressions of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, I've spent about uh, seven, eight hours with the game. And uh, this right here, by the way, is Fox. He is a YouTube streamer, and he's doing his playthrough. If you want to go and check him out at some point. Um, I've done two streams on Twitch with the game. And like I said, I've spent about six, seven, eight hours with the game. And uh, not enough to give like any type of full review, but I am going to play... Hogwarts Legacy all the way through. So I'm playing that all the way through on Twitch. Uh, Rex Sterling on Twitch. And uh, I'll be finishing Dead Space. And then I'll be doing Death Stranding here on YouTube. Streaming on YouTube. So I'd love to see you in both places. But if you have a preference between those games, that's where I'll be. And that's what I'll be playing. Um, but I wanted to make a quick video on Hogwarts Legacy. And I just wanted to tell you that I'm really impressed with this game. I really like it and i did not expect to i really had low expectations it's so funny because i had very low expectations for for spoken and then i had uh slightly higher but still very low expectations for hogwarts legacy uh to be more specific like with metacritic and stuff like that i was expecting this game to do like a 78 79 or something like that to see it come out and do like 86 87 uh is fantastic and i'm very happy for the studios involved with making this game because obviously if you're on social media anywhere uh you're aware that there was a ton of pressure on these on these de on these development studios to, to to put out a very very good game there was a there was a high bar kind of set there was a lot of hype there were high expectations and uh, I think that they have met those expectations it's not a perfect game it's 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 flawed uh, but overall I just want to say up front I really like this game uh, I think it's a good looking game I like the art style I think that the tone of the game is very true to like the Harry Potter universe now I will tell you I've never read the books I'm not a big Harry Potter fan which I, I think that speaks to how good the game is because I'm not a big Harry Potter fan. I've seen all of the movies because my dad was crazy about Harry Potter. So I watched all the movies with him, but that's it for me. Um, so I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan, but I still have a big appreciation for this game because its world is so interesting and so cohesive. The art direction and art style, uh, I think it's spot on for Harry Potter's universe. Uh, the soundtrack, the music, the sound effects, everything is completely on point. Um, voice performances, animation for characters. Uh, facial animation and lip sync is a little off here and there, but for the most part, uh, I, I think that the, the voice acting and the performances of these characters in this game more than make up for it. We're in, when I talked about Forspoken, one, my, one of my biggest criticisms about Forspoken, maybe my biggest criticism, was that I just didn't care about anyone in that game. I didn't care about any character in that game, especially uh, that Cuff and the main character, Frey. In this game, it's so different where all of these side characters, uh, including the character that you play, at, play as, uh, I think that they're all given like interesting personalities. They're, they're so well performed by the voice actors. Uh, they have depth to their character. They have little quirks and things like that. And it's just so well acted. Uh, performances are so good that I find myself really caring about the characters in this game. And it's funny for me, the type of gamer that I am and how much I love character and how much I love story, that it makes it so much easier for me to overlook areas of the game that could be better that maybe aren't completely fleshed out. Uh, you know, uh, places where maybe there's technical issues. Uh, I have so far had no problem overlooking flaws in this game and just enjoying being in this world. And uh, it's one of the biggest reasons why I decided to play it all the way through, which I initially didn't plan to do that. But I think, the, I think it's a good game. And I think that the open world here and Hogwarts itself exploring it, it feels so good. It feels, so, you know, very authentic to the source material. And it's just so different from anything else I'm playing right now that I want to spend more time with this game. I don't think that any one system in this game is particularly deep, like from combat to, you know, any sort of like crafting to uh, dialogue choices to, you know, the school activities you can participate in, side quests. 
uh, pretty much everything, gear and loot, nothing in this game is particularly deep. And, you know, I come from a history of loving, like, JRPGs, really deep loot systems, deep crafting systems, things like that. Uh, so I, I do typically look for depth in, in my RPGs, whether it's something like a Bethesda game where you've got a ton of depth in your conversations that you can have and, and narrative decisions that you can make, uh, the way that you can interact and build you know, reputation and things like that with different factions or characters in the game. Uh, or, you know, you, you look at uh, other, like, uh, like like I said, JRPGs, uh, like uh, Star Ocean games, things like that, where you've got, like, these really in-depth crafting systems and, and uh, you know, in-depth, like, party interaction. You don't really have any of that in Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy is kind of the jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none type of game, and, and I think that that's okay, because I think that all the systems in Hogwarts Legacy so far uh, are executed well enough. Like, yeah, I, I would like it if there was a little bit more to the loot system or a little bit more to the, to the RPG elements, a little bit more to, uh, you know, decisions you can make in conversations, etc. Uh, but there's enough there that I don't really have any complaints so I hope that makes sense. I, you know, I don't want to sit here and like, uh, you know, ride the fence too much when it comes to this game, uh, you know, and, 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 you know, giving my opinions on it. I don't want to just sit here in the middle and, and not really like have a take. But honestly, uh, I think that what is there is done well enough that I don't have any complaints and I appreciate all these different systems. Keep in mind that right now I am just barely outside of what you might call like the tutorial section of the game there's still new uh there's still a ton of new spells that are opening up to me new game systems that are opening up to me and being introduced to me so i've still got quite a ways to go uh like on my journey in this game but i just really want to put it out there that if you're a fan of you know harry potter i think you will love this game i really do and I think that even if you're not a fan of Harry Potter, which I'm not, if you're a fan of, you know, fantasy and RPG and, uh, you know, you like these types of games, uh, generally speaking, for instance, I think if you like uh, the Horizon franchise, you know, Zero Dawn or Forbidden West, if you like that, I think there's a chance that you might like this as well. I mean, uh, combat's good it's fun it's it's actually more a little bit more difficult than i expected it to be it's got a little bit more i think combat actually does have a little bit more depth than i expected with the way that spells are handled i think it's handled well this is a good overall action rpg game uh with really good performances with the voice acting characters that you care about uh an interesting narrative and uh, so far, I, you know, the plot hasn't gone very far, but, uh, you know, it is interesting. There's not a lot of hand-holding. There's a lot of puzzles in this game, and there's not a, there's not a lot of hand-holding with the puzzles. Uh, and uh, combat can be kind of punishing if you're, if you're not quick and you're not smart, uh, which I think is good. I think exploring Hogwarts is excellent. I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten the broom yet to fly around outside of Hogwarts, but I still just love exploring the world. There's so much to look at. There's a lot to interact with, uh, and there's a lot of secrets to find in the game. Uh, so far, I, I absolutely agree with the reviews I've read about this game and with like the Metacritic score and everything like that. This is definitely looking like a, you know, like a, like an eight, like a very, very solid eight. And whether it drops to a seven or goes up to a nine or whatever, you know, I'll I'll give my thoughts after I complete the game. Uh, but right now, uh, two streams in, I'm really enjoying it, and I just wanted to say that uh, you know I'm very impressed with this game. I'm very happy for the studio that worked on this game, and uh, I think that they have, for the most part, accomplished what they set out to do. I'm very optimistic moving forward. Of course, if that changes, I'll let you know. Uh, and that's that's pretty much like the main thoughts that I have. I, I don't want to go too deep because I've still got so much more to experience in this game, so much more to open up to me. But like I said, you know, I'm hours and hours in, almost 10 hours in, and uh, I'm, I'm very much enjoying the game. 
and impressed with it. And uh, I think that the world that they immerse you in is uh, is captivating and interesting and different. And uh, I think it's it feels very authentic and very cohesive uh, to the to the source material, uh, which I think is probably might be the most important aspect of the game. And they, they've nailed it. I just love looking around at everything, talking to the characters and uh, and just exploring Hogwarts, walking around out on the grounds and just, you know, admiring the scenery. Uh, I've caught myself doing that many times on stream. So uh, there's just a lot of charm to this game that I think is really uh, working in its favor right now. Will that charm kind of fall off as I get deeper into the game and will, uh, you know, late late game mechanics that open up to you make up for that uh lack of charm I, I don't know how things are gonna you know go i don't i don't know if the charm will stay there i don't know how deep the gameplay elements will get as we go uh but i'll let you guys know when i beat the game and, and i put out my second video on this uh just wanted to let you know how i'm feeling so far if, if you're playing the game i'd love to know what you think i'd love to see uh, your comments down below so I can check them out and, and share experiences with you. And I'd love to see you over on the Twitch streams. Uh, and uh, also, if you look on my YouTube channel, if you don't if you don't watch Twitch, uh, each one of my uh, streams from Harry Potter is being uploaded onto my YouTube channel and being put in a Harry Potter or Hogwarts Legacy playlist for you. So even if you don't see the streams on Twitch, I'm still putting them over here for you. Uh, so you have all of my playthroughs here in one spot together. Uh, thanks, guys. I really appreciate your support, and I'll see you at the next stream.